What is this guy doing? I don't really know, bro. I'm trying to figure him out. Hey, get a little bit over that pole right there. Yeah. Hey, you missed a spot. Scorpion's back due to high demand for COVID-19. <laughs> Run. Dun. Hello, my name is Scorpion. We like to mow grass. The last time you saw me, I had to put a beat down on old Sensei. I stole Tiny. It was my truck. What happened? We've been gone for so long. Well, we're back. We're back in Tiny 2.0. <laughs> he ain't going to be able to make it. <laughs> he can't take it. Scorpion! <laughs> oh yeah! That gets Scorpion going, huh? What's going on everybody? James with That's Right Lawn Care. We are down in Marietta today visiting Master Mowers. Now, this is my first time here. I've seen it in several videos, but we're gonna do a quick walkthrough. And some of the some of the mowers they offer here are gonna be Ferris, Wright, Walker, and I think they're getting into the Spartans as well. Is that correct? That's right. Hey, so, Jazz, that's right. always check your nipples on these things. Yeah. Very important. Okay, yeah. right. I'll keep that in I mind. I just thought I wanted to point that out. Do they tell the temperature? Because mine do. They should. <laughs> <laughs> Master mowers, they have, like you said, Ferris, Wright, Spartan and Walker. we just found out they are really big on Walker. They, uh, from what we just heard, this is the fifth largest Walker dealership in the world. Yes. So that is huge. That is huge. Now, me particularly, I have never really paid attention to Walker mowers. For what we're doing, we need to go a little bigger. Also, the lawns that we're cutting, especially for our area. Now, granted, we do have some nice lawns, some you know, in the higher end neighborhoods and stuff like that. Sure. But for the most part, the bigger percentage of our lawns are gonna be those customers that wanna cut every two weeks. It gets high, they want it cut down. These walker mowers are specifically made to give that great cut quality mm -hmm. and just to, to maintain finer grass. And bagging, this is it's big on bagging. Huge obviously. on baggers, but we just uh, we just took a look at their new mulching mower. Show them that new one. And it yeah, looks yeah. really cool. We're gonna take a walk it's up a in here. It's a blade, right? Yeah, two blades. And it looks like it has an accelerator as well. Uh -huh. So, but that's gonna be the mulching mower. It's the new one that just came out, he said, right? Yeah. 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 And it's, it looks like it's got a Kohler in it. So. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> maybe something to look at in the future. Looks like he's about to blow the parking lot off over here. Back here in this graveyard of Lesko and this Toro and Husqvarna walk behind. But check this guy out. This is a, I think they only made these for a year. The turf runner to try and compete with the walkers. That had an option to side discharge as you can see the little chute right behind that back tire had an option to side discharge also you could mulch also you could bag so that is a three in one piece that did not make it and i don't know why they have not revisited that with all the component technology that they've got out now um, they could probably make it work i know it's probably not in there kind of like why they won't do a uh, 30 inch push mower to compete with X Mark and Toro. Uh, it's just not in their bag. It's not their, not their money maker. Plus Walker's already got this market knocked out. Hard to compete with. And I don't blame them for not doing it, but I think this could have been a success. Um, but now that they're the technology and the everything could could probably work out a little better so we're going to continue our walk through the here's a skag 52 inch walk behind little x mark the 
grandstand. <clears throat> Look at this big guy right here. This is a beast. Huge spreader. Huge spreader. Sprayer. Look how big this thing is, guys. That is... I, I have not even seen this on... Uh, on, like, Instagram or anything. That is... That's new to me. That is a beast of a machine. I have not seen it. No, this is new. I didn't even notice it. <clears throat> From over it's there. got a... It's got a hose attachment that mounts onto it. What in the world? You got a that pump is button? Every bit of this everything. Is... <laughs> that is a freaking airplane. <laughs> airplane the control yeah, panel of an yes, airplane. Yes, airplane cockpit, here. yes. We are walking past all these walkers. Oh, look, here's a brand new Ryan aerator. Yes, look how much bulkier it is from the uh, It is, Toro it looks a lot heavier. Mm -hmm. And the thing with your Toro, I believe, was that thing would pop wheelies. Yes. But You've you got can... a lot of you got a lot of weight up front here, is what I'm seeing. But I'm sure your you... tines are going to be right between the back tires. I'm sure you could put weight on that Toro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is something. Probably... What's this guy? Look, Dual. Dually, 72 inch. Mm -hmm. it, this has the uh, trimmer rack on it as well. Yep. guys hope y'all enjoyed that little trip to marietta down to master mowers i thought it was a pretty cool place fun to be see a lot of those walker mowers and stuff like that because I've, I've never really got interested in those walker mowers but i mean they're a big ferris dealership um, i think they said they were starting to get into some other stuff too they've got right mowers uh, red max blower or red max equipment and stuff like that uh, but it was just it was cool to see all that stuff some of the price tags on there i will admit are little cheaper than some of the ones around uh, where I live. What on earth are you doing over there? I'm driving. Oh. What'd you do with Nick? Is Nick in the back? Sensei Nick is within me. Did you have fun, Jazzy? Hey, I had a great time, man. I had a great time. It was a really cool place, especially see all that equipment. You know, the big, the big graveyard, that old skag. That new, that new Ferris, that uh, cedar spreader sprayer, whatever. That was a, uh, that was a cool machine to take a look at. I can see Jazzy making a little road trip himself here soon to trade in the. See a scabber? <laughs> He'd be wrong. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. But there may be a new mower coming soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That was a fun drive, and i um, trying not to capture what is on the trailer back there. The whole trip to go down there, so he got rid of his uh, Ferris C3X and traded it in on the... Uh, oh, no. Like I said, you're going to have to go to his video and watch. Oh, no! <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't even know. We already picked it up. It's been on the trailer for an hour, and I still haven't, I haven't turned around to look. But we still got about 45 minutes before we're back. Guess what? As we were talking earlier, you know my arch nemesis, Sensei. We're friends again. We're all good. We're gonna do some slicing and dicing and mowing and blowing. Did you say we're friends again? I'd consider us friends. I mean, you said again. Yeah. Is there a point in time we weren't friends? I beat your butt and stole your truck. Remember Tiny? <laughs> that was mine. Oh, 
I forgave you for that a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> Since then, we've kept in touch. I don't know where he ran off to that day. But since then we've done a lot of whopper chaws. <laughs> we've been whopping and a chawing. <laughs> it's been great. It's been great. I still have my signature move. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you got a lot of editing to do. You can't edit out the laughs. You can. Okay, you can cut them. No, you, you, can, you can't cut a, cut a laugh out as I'm talking. You were laughing while I was talking. Oh. In the yeah, last one. Maybe not that part. Yeah. They're just going to have to hear you laugh over there. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you all enjoyed some of that footage of uh master mowers down in uh, marietta wow what a what a cool place it's a little different than some of our um some of our dealerships up here as far as they don't go all out in the showroom and stuff like that um and I, i'm thinking that's one of the ways that they can save cost on you know not having like a ten thousand dollar marble countertops and and all kinds of stuff but you know it's just it's plain, simple, and to the point. From what I understand, you know, that's how their, how their um, salesmen are as well. You know, plain, simple, and to the point. Hey, this is what we can do them over for. If y'all get a chance, if y'all are in the area, run over and check out Master Mowers. And I, I'm pretty sure if you're in the area, you know, you've seen of them. But it's Marietta, Georgia. It's, uh, it's tucked back behind a, another shop off of the road. But I'm sure if you Google it, you can find it. So, hope y'all enjoyed some of that footage, uh, some of the graveyard footage of the mowers and uh, the couple old skags and that new Ferris cedar spreader, sprayer, whatever. It was uh, definitely pretty cool to see. Guys, I got a couple of yards to get cut today and uh, we will be done. So, if y'all haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, shoot me a thumbs up, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Perfect.